Hey Virgo, how are you doing? This reading is for Virgo for the second half of August. Mid-month reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Virgo, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can look at the options there. And a shout out to all the Virgos who are celebrating a birthday. I wish you nothing but the best. What is going on for the fabulous and most magical Virgos? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What's coming towards you? Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What you are focused on is the Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. In your blocked and challenged position is the Devil, Major Arcana 4, Capricorn, and your outcome is the Lover's Major Arcana for, for Gemini. Okay. Virgo, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is like two peas in a pod. You get this person, this person gets you. You fill their cup, they fill yours. It speaks of partnership, harmony, and peace. This can also be you regaining your own emotional satisfaction, leaning back in this feminine energy, being open and receptive to help, and knowing when to spring onto your masculine side to take action. I really feel like you're going through a change here and you see something crystal clearly, yet there is a person who is either stubborn or there is some kind of like challenge that you need to overcome here. It's like a roadblock Somebody is trying to put a roadblock in between a new situation and an old past, you know, partnership. Or this could be like um, a stepping stone soulmate. And like truth, transparency, vulnerability, and authenticity. Like a new love or a new career path. And yeah... In the blocked and challenged position, you have the devil energy. Devil energy can be a blockage, a barrier, or something has a, a really big ego around you. Somebody has been trying to hide this path from you. Like, they don't want you to choose a different path here. It's, you know, Queen of Swords can be somebody who is giving you some kind of great advice or insight. Or you have truth and clarity on some kind of past person, past situation. It's like a stepping stone soulmate and getting the real deal. Or this could be like some kind of work situation where you've been there for a really long time. But it's stifling your growth. Yeah, this could be like um, somebody who is resisting change. Or resisting to change. Resisting to budge. It's a stubborn energy. Or you have to stand up for yourself, stand up for a cause, stand up to adversity, stand up to this person, draw a line in the sand, say enough is enough. I've seen enough. And this Queen of Swords, just watch that you're not being heavily crucial towards yourself. I also feel like you're worried about people judging you. Or somebody is heavily judging you for what it is that you want to do. It's a sharp mind but a sharp tongue. So just watch your words here. But, you know, there could be some kind of an advice. Or cutting out deceptive behavior. Whether this is your own deceptive behavior where you're like, Okay, I see the blockage. I see the barrier. I see that it's just unnecessary fear and worry but here this is you know what re you resist persists this could be like a deep rooted insecurity from childhood or a need for you here Virgo to not take things so seriously and personally at this time and to let your inner child out to play to have fun it's like out with the old, in with the new. 
here. And the lovers. Holy smokes. Major Arcana 4 Gemini. And the vulnerability is the bridge to connection. But this is like the real deal soulmate or a choice. Choice or decision from the heart. And you have the clarity and truth of the situation. Ten of swords. Stick a fork in it. Deuces. I'm done. I'm out of here. Picking a new path. And then right away, someone gets their guard up. Or somebody is trying to block you from going forth towards some kind of new path. Yeah, it's like a control factor. Or somebody's ego is super puffed up. What is this? Seven of Wands? Yeah, placing healthy boundaries. Queen of Swords has super duper healthy boundaries as well. But this could be like job and career. And the Four of Cups. Yeah. Totally. Four of Cups is bored, discontent, and dissatisfaction. The milk has expired. It's even over-expired and curdled. And who wants to drink spilled milk? Or who wants to drink curdled milk? Says nobody. So emotionally withdrawn. And this could be catching you off guard or by surprise. Or you're catching this person off guard or by surprise. That you're no longer like entertaining this. That you're standing up for yourself here. And maybe that that's what you need. Maybe you've been suppressing your feelings. And it's like, see, you're choosing this new cup, but you don't see it yet because you're still kind of being distracted. So there could be people who are trying to distract you from your own journey. So this could be a person being like, hey, can you do this for me? And you're like, nope. Hey, can you do that for me? Nope. And then this person pouts, this is my Eeyore card. This is a complainer card, somebody who constantly complains, they're never satisfied in their life. So no matter what you give to a person or a situation, it's never good enough. Ten of Wands, right? You're carrying all the weight of the world on your shoulders or carrying a heavy burden, feeling burnt out. Let's see what the Six of Cups is. Six of Cups is like nostalgic thoughts of the past, reminiscing when times were good, when times were fun, when times are easy. But there is an energy of like, we can reconcile this. Like, like let's just bring this together. And, you know, it's like, um, you're over it. And, you know, this could be like family dynamics as well. And the Nine of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. That's a beautiful energy. It's like wishes granted, wish fulfillment. Or expressing joy, pleasure, fun, happiness. This is about youthfulness and innocence. Skip down the road, do something funny, do something silly. Not taking yourself so personally or seriously, but I feel like you've already made your choice here. You know, there's apples here. So again, there's like a tempting offer, but you you kind of see through this illusion right here. Two-faced individual, two-faced friend, two-faced boss, two-faced whatever. Or here, it's like, oh no, everything is just so great in my life. I just love it. That's a lie. Four of cups, disappointed and bored. That's a, also a card of apathy. And with this Nine of Cups, somebody could feel really entitled to your energy. So this per person could be like smug, self-centered, self-righteous. Only gives you the time of day when they need you. So again, it's like you see through some kind of distortion, illusion. And this person could keep you hooked or in some kind of trauma bond or some kind of um, toxic living situation, toxic environment for their own personal gains. What is this double energy? Or they use sexy time? Or even this is a love bomber? 
So there could be like a person who love bombs you, gives you everything you want, and then it goes in the same cycle. So uses, you know, sexy time to lure you in. But it's like telling you not to take the bait. And the king of swords. Wow. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So in your blocked and challenged position is the ultimate truth. And I feel like there's a person either wearing a false mask or a false person. Queen of Swords and King of Swords together. Yikes. This is like two people who want to have control over a situation. So therefore, you constantly butt heads. This is like the ultimate truth. Or there is something about a challenge in some kind of legal situation. This is like a judge, a lawyer, a doctor, an attorney. So don't let pride get in your way. Um, if you need help with this, make sure that you get the help that you need. Yeah, it's like somebody who isn't exposing the truth or you haven't exposed your truth. And somebody doesn't want you to move away or to take some kind of new avenue here, right? King of Swords is like somebody who could be emotionally unavailable and emotionally detached. And it keeps you bound and stuck in this situation, but you have the clarity and picking some kind of new path, but it's about the vulnerability and authenticity. Purity. What is this lover's card? What is this new choice? Yeah, this is borderline somebody who is a narcissist. Like, this person can be in, like in a high-ranking position. Or like a leader. And the world. Major Arcana for the fixed signs. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy. This is like putting some kind of voice into the world. Or I feel like it's more like this here, Virgo. It's like closure, completion, wrapping up some kind of cycle. And claiming victory and having freedom and making plans and picking a new path here. This can also be like a strong soulmate at a distance. Or this person has a different background with you than you or a different, um, different place, different face sort of thing. See how... This person has a totally different imagery. Like this person has darker skin and then this person has lighter skin. Doesn't have to be or it could just be like hair color or something like that. Yeah, or a change in location, relocation and moving. But it is about the vulnerability of promoting yourself or putting yourself out into the world but this is freedom wrapping up some kind of karmic cycle that has been going around and around in circles it feels like redundant almost painful and you have somebody who is emotionally avoidant or emotionally unavailable or this person is borderline obsessed with you um or it's a tempting offer but it's like a schmoozer and or somebody who love bombs you so that you choose them but here it's like you have the clarity leap you go first the universe will catch you that's a fool card it means no risk no reward 
You got to risk it to get the biscuit. Aries energy is about being brave, being bold, being beautiful. And, you know, Aries don't give a flying flop to the, or like, doesn't give a flying flip flop to the flip of what anyone thinks of he or she. They just do what they want. It's like having little to no worry, little to no baggage. The initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So see how it's kind of stormy? It feels like your stormy days are over or you need to go through some kind of storm to get through this new opening. It's like going through a portal, like giving birth to something new. Wow, you have, um, this could be like a sibling, a brother, or fond memories with a person. But is it like that right now? That's all you have to ask yourself. The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? And see how it's like you'd have to kind of go through the storm, but be the storm here, Virgo. See how you're kind of like, I don't know, moving away from it? Go towards the storm. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand by your side, beside you. And that's such a beautiful energy. So your past on loved ones, your angels, your guides are literally clapping for you. But it's making a better choice or a decision here clearly for yourself. Could be dealing with somebody who has heavy Gemini in their chart or it's you. We are in, a, in the middle of a Mercury retrograde as well in the month of August, which is this is Gemini energy. That's Gemini energy. You could have Gemini in your chart. Hammock. Taking a vacation, either physical or mental, here. Claw. Be careful. Don't take risks. Calculated risks are always rewarded. Broom. New home. New attitude. time to get out of a situation we already know that it says the crumbling what are you clinging on to a fantasy an illusion a distortion a stepping stone soulmate oh but i've known this person for so long we have history so who cares it's like you're getting something better here but this can also be like new you new attitude new job new attitude Dog, protection from a powerful friend. Here, this could also be somebody who is quite powerful and a good time. Or there's like a strong, powerful, fixed sign energy around you as well. They're loyal to you. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control right here. I feel like somebody is heavily controlling but they're also ice cold and emotionally unavailable. And it's like, I can't get to know this person. And, or you're just protected on your journey. Hand, in need of help, assistance, and or guidance. And for some of you, it's like your ego is getting in the way of you like accepting help. Or getting some kind of second opinion. Because the king of swords is like a judge, a lawyer, a doctor, an attorney. And it's like pride or ego is getting in the way. So just watch that as well. And then you have broken ring. Parting of the ways in either romance or business. But like I said, it's good for you. And somebody is like totally caught off guard or by surprise. Or super disappointed. 
but this is my complainer boohoo Eeyore card. So no matter what you give to this person or do for this person, it's always disappointing. It's because they don't know how to create their own emotional happiness. And here, it's like you've learned a very valuable lesson through some kind of stepping stone soulmate or even like when you let your inner child out to play. This Nine of Cups, it's like revitalization or the Nine of Cups is like emotional sovereignty. Like you create your own emotional happiness and this person leeches off of it. And that's what keeps you control or keeps you down. Crack up. Dissatisfaction with life. If you're bored or discontent or dissatisfied in any area of your life too here, Virgo, that's your soul screaming at you in desiring growth. Don't ignore it. Oh, I'll just stay here for one more year at my job. No. And then it says woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman. And I, psychic abilities, trust your intuition and bouquet compliments from an admirer or that can also be you this can also be like a friend a friend of yours that is highlighting your qualities yeah but this is like a choice cutting out one thing and having another and there could be somebody who kind of needs your help or assistance or guidance or you've already helped this person enough leave me a comment down below let me know how this resonates with you like share subscribe and Virgo if you want to book a private reading with me you can do so in the description box below click the link it will take you to the website and you can look at the options there take care my friends bye bye